What's up, everybody? It's Draymond Green. Make sure you subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel below so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward. And speaking of Philly and that team, I, I've, I've watched that shot over a million times, uh, in part due to I feel like if that shot didn't, went, didn't go in, it would win the NBA <laughs> championship, and it is what it is. So I've gone back and watched that shot. And you were actually on the bench uh, when, yep. when that shot happened, which is crazy yep. because if you think about if you think about that that finals run and the run that y'all had to go on and win a championship, one wouldn't be able to see you not being in the game at the end of the game at any point in that run. But it kind of just goes to show uh, what you're saying about your rotations. But you're like right in the corner of Kawhi's shot. With your angle, yeah. what were you thinking on that play? Because I had it's I didn't cool. think it was a chance it was going in. No, it looked off left. It looked off left because I'm looking at it. And you can see it go and look off like it was going to go off to the left towards the middle of the lane. And once we saw it bounce, bounce twice, it was like, oh, this shit going in. It's going in. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then once, it was just like, bro, that was the craziest amount of emotion because for me personally, I'm like, yes, I get another series. Like, I get another chance to, <laughs> to, to play better. I didn't want my season to end, you know what I mean, with that performance on the table. So I think we was all just relieved just to get out of that series and and move on to the next one because that was a really tough series. I mean, we blew them out. They blew us out. We had to go there and play. Like, that was a that was a, that was was a a hard fought series. Absolutely. And <clears throat> talk to me a little more about, um, like, the pressure that you're feeling. It's like you just said, I don't want this to end on that series. And I know what most people don't understand is this ain't, this is not Fred, Fred Van Vliet, the $100 million player. No, this is Fred all. Van Vliet trying to make it, worrying about what that next contract is going to be. Like, talk to me a little more about that pressure that you was feeling and playing and having those first two series that you had and then getting another opportunity. Yeah, well, it's just back then, I knew what I could do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We always know what we can do as players and our confidence and, you know, you thinking about who you can be, but you still have to show that. And at that point in time, I hadn't really shown that I could be a starting point guard. I hadn't shown all of these different moments. So I was just frustrated that this is the performance that I was putting out. You know, nobody's harder on myself than I am. Toronto is one of them cities where if you're playing bad, you're going to know about it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, we we definitely have those type of fans where they will they will cherish you and, and worship you forever, but they're going to let you know when you're not playing well. And so I was caught up in that for the first time in my professional career, like reading comments, and I had to go through all of that type of stuff. Um, so all of that was just a learning experience for me, but I was lucky enough to come out on the other side of it.